Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This floral arrangement that I'm working on is going to be a very easy floral arrangement and I'll actually be using this later on in my video. But I thought it would be nice if I would just take a few seconds and tell you everything that I am going to try to hopefully cover in today's video. First, I'm going to be sharing a little bit of a haul with you and I haven't shared a haul video with you guys in so long and I have a few items that I've purchased recently at Hobby Lobby, a couple of items I've purchased at Target and a few from Goodwill. I also would like to share with you some piece that is very special to me that my uncle made back in the 1920s. This is a piece that I've had for a few years. My mom gave it to me and whenever she first gave it to me, I just really wasn't sure where I was going to decorate with it or how I was going to decorate with it. But the other day, whenever I was hunting through my decor, I found it and it just dawned on me where exactly I was going to put it. So I love where I placed it. I think it looks beautiful and perfect. So I'm really excited to share that with you later in this video. I will also be doing some Tuscan spring decorating in my living room on my sofa table. And this has been a very slow process at getting my decorating done after Christmas. And if you have been following my channel for a while, then you know that at Christmas, I did post a video saying that I was no longer going to be making content for YouTube, but I took some time off and I really thought long and hard about it and decided that I did in fact miss making my YouTube videos. I missed having the interaction with everyone and it was just a really nice hobby, but we YouTube content creators can really get burned out on making the videos. And so that is what really happened to me um, back around fall and winter last year. Um, I did so much decorating for fall and Halloween and then jumped right into my Christmas decorating. And I didn't even have all of my Halloween decorations put away before I started my Christmas decorating because I just didn't have time. So what I did was just kind of stored everything downstairs in my basement, wasn't even put in my boxes or anything. And so I've just kind of had to work at getting that put away as I had the time. So I just got really burned out and the, my views were kind of down there for a while. Um, I didn't do as well at Halloween as I had hoped. Um, just wasn't growing um, as quickly as I had really hoped that I would do. So that was just um, really frustrating and everything to me at that time. And it was just, it was just really hard. I was burnt out on the decorating, burnt out on trying to get content out and burnt out on my numbers, my analytics. I mean, that just drove me nuts. But I did a lot of thinking and talked to a lot of my fellow YouTube creators. And I just decided that I'm going to do this at my speed. I'm just going to make videos at my own pace and enjoy the process. Let's begin. If you like this kind of content, I would love to have you as a member of my YouTube family. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you would leave me a thumbs up. And I love to hear your comments, so please feel free to leave yours in my comment section below. I'll start with my Hobby Lobby items. And the sconce that you're looking at, I purchased two of. There's actually one on the other side of my wall art. 
And I think these sconces are gorgeous. They were regularly $75.99 each, but I got them for 50% off, which I was very happy about that because I did not want to pay $75 for just one of these sconces. They are very large and you'll be able to see whenever I show you how it looks beside the artwork but they are very large and the ones that I had hung previously beside my artwork I just didn't feel were big enough. I felt like they were swallowed beside my picture. So I felt that I really needed something on a larger scale and I saw these and I just thought they were perfect. They are Tuscan, they have the wrought iron, they have the mosaic glass, they have the colors of Tuscan that I just love and I just think these are beautiful. And I apologize, I think it's actually more of a metal. It's not actually a wrought iron, but they are just still, even with just being metal, they are beautiful. And here's what they look like hanging beside my wall art. And if you are new to my channel, I just wanted to point out that the three wall hangings that you see were all three purchased at the same time from my local Goodwill. This is the sofa table that I will be decorating for spring a little bit later on in my video. I also bought this lantern at Hobby Lobby and I really like the appearance of this lantern. The metal has a very tarnished appearance and it just looks so rustic and old-fashioned and I just like the style of this lamp too. The shape of it and it's just got so much character and this was also 50% off. I also bought this lantern at Hobby Lobby and it was also 50% off. And this lantern is taller than my other one. And this is just beautiful. It also has that very aged patina. And I just think this is so beautiful in its detail. It has almost a lacy appearance in the corners of the metal. I haven't decided yet where or how I'm going to display my new lanterns, but I will definitely be sure to share my ideas with you whenever I do. Now I'll share my Goodwill finds. And I love old rolling pins and Goodwill is a great place to find old rolling pins. And I really like this one in particular because it's all one solid piece. And I really enjoy decorating with rolling pins because I feel that it adds a touch of nostalgia and it also really blends in nicely with my Tuscan style of decorating. And it's also very convenient to have my rolling pins within reach whenever I'm baking. I really like the red handles on this rolling pin. I have no idea the age of these rolling pins, but I think they're both beautiful. I also found this beautiful pottery bowl at my local Goodwill. And the detail on this bowl is beautiful. It has a wheat pattern around the edge of the bowl and there are no markings. So I don't know if this was handmade 
or if it was made by a company. But the finish on this, everything about this bowl is just so beautiful. And I'm really looking forward to decorating with this bowl. I think it will be a perfect addition to add to my kitchen or dining room. This is a really nice size bowl and it would even work perfect as a dough bowl. I also found this cute country candlestick holder and I really wish they would have had more than one of these, but I can work with one. I think I'm going to put this up on top of my cupboards. I think it will look beautiful up there. And if you haven't had a chance to see how I decorated above my kitchen cupboards, I will make sure that I link that video below in my description box. But I just think this is so country, or primitive, perfect to blend in with my Tuscan decorating. Now I'll share the items that I bought at Target. I love this yellow for Scythia wreath and this just screams spring to me. And it will also look beautiful with my spring Tuscan decorating. And whenever I was growing up, my parents had a lot of very large, beautiful yellow forsythias growing. And whenever I see yellow forsythias, it brings back such wonderful memories of my childhood. I also bought this greenery wreath and this was also $28. And I'm not sure exactly what kind of leaves these are, but I think they're beautiful. And it also looks like it has a little bit of baby's breath tucked in there as well. And if I wanted, I could add to this wreath, but for right now, what I'm planning to do is just leave it as is because where I'm wanting to decorate with this, I just want to add some greenery from this wreath. I picked up these two wooden trays at the Goodwill and whenever I bought these, they actually had a couple more of these exact same crates or tray, whatever you want to call them, but they had a couple that were actually bigger than these two. And I thought they were a little bit too big for decorating. So I just went with these two and I apologize. My video kind of got a little bit small in some areas and I think what happens is it doesn't like set itself right whenever I pick it up it doesn't go back to um, the other setting and whenever I'm recording it looks like it went back but then whenever I'm actually making my video I can see that it never actually went back so I do apologize that my video does get a little small in a couple of these areas. And this beautiful tray I purchased at TJ Maxx. And I love the size of this tray. And it's actually bigger, but I thought this one was perfect. And it was only $19.99. I also really like the metal corners on this tray. I think it gives it more character and just makes it look so much more charming.
I also bought this basket at Goodwill and Goodwill is a great place to find all kinds and styles of different baskets. And this is a really nice size basket. And I love decorating with baskets. You can use them for storage. You can also create a beautiful vignette. There's just so many decorating possibilities. I also bought this beautiful wreath at Goodwill. And I think this is so unique. I love how it has all of the spirally leaves hanging off of this and it has the berries and also it has another little pick and I'm not sure exactly what those are, but I think this is just beautiful. And when my husband and daughter saw this, they were kind of just looking at me like, really mom, really? You think that's pretty? And I do. I think this is absolutely beautiful. And I already know exactly where I'm going to hang this. So I hope to share that with you soon. And I also bought this bowl filler at Target and it was $10. And I love this. It has the willow balls. It has the moss balls. And this is going to be perfect for spring. And you can either use this in a bowl. You could use it in a vase. You could use it on a plate. You could even use this on candle holders. I love to add stuff like this to my candle stands. And just think outside the box. There are so many different uses that you can do with this. I would love to hear how you decorate with face filler. I also bought two of these wicker placemats at Target. They were $6 each. They will be perfect for placing under vignettes. And here's the game board that my uncle made a very long time ago. And on the front side, it is a checkerboard. And I will show you the back side here in a minute. On the back side, he has a Chinese checkerboard game. And I think that this is just a beautiful old antique piece. Um, the work that he did on this just as a young boy was just amazing. And I'm sure that the paint that he used was probably lead paint, but I'm not going to be eating off of this and it's barely touched. So I think that I will be okay to use this. Um, I can remember growing up as a kid, my mom decorating with this piece. So it's just really nice to have this family heirloom. My mom came from a very large family. She had 10 siblings and I can imagine that they would sit around playing checkers on this board and just having wonderful times together. And here's a look at the side of the game board and you can just see the age on this wood. And here's a look at the Chinese checkerboard and he just did an amazing job. I mean, he actually stenciled in little pictures. It almost looks like maybe a Mother Goose story rhyme theme he was going for on this, but he has the same picture in all four corners. And I just think that this is just so beautiful and I am just tickled to have this piece. And of course, we will not play with it. We will just cherish it and enjoy the beauty of this piece.
I recently shared a video on how I decorated my foyer. And if you missed that video, I will be sure to link it below in my description box. But I thought that my checkerboard would look really nice placed in front of these wine boxes. And I am just so happy with how this looks. I think this looks so charming and rustic. And you can still see the pictures on the wine boxes from the front side. So whenever you come in the door, you can still see the pictures on the wine boxes. But I am so happy with how this looks and I can look at its beauty every day. I would love to hear your thoughts, so please let me know in my comment box. Now I'll style my sofa table. I love decorating this sofa table and I bought this from Amazon about two years ago. I'm going to place down a beaded burgundy table runner. I purchased this table runner a couple years ago at Christmas tree shop. And I also have an identical gold one that I will also be sharing with you. But I feel for today's video, the burgundy will look better. And here's how it looks after adding my table runner. And here's my gold table runner. And if you've been following my channel for a while, I'm sure that you've seen me use this once or twice before when I've been decorating. And it would also look beautiful for my tablescape today, but I feel that it's going to give it more color if I use the burgundy one. I definitely want some height for my table, so I'm going to add these beautiful buffet lamps that my mom gave me. My mom had these for a lot of years and I always loved them. So whenever she decided that she didn't want them anymore, she asked me if I'd like them. And of course I wanted them, absolutely. I was so thrilled because these are so beautiful and the colors are perfect for my Tuscan decorating. And I'm just going to give you some close-ups of these lamps just so you can see the detail on them because they are just so beautiful. And I love that they have a hibiscus flower and they have the beautiful beaded trim at the bottom of the shade. And here's a look at the spiral post. And I think this is just so perfect for this lamp. And if I remember correctly, I believe that she purchased these at Lowe's. And here's a close up of the base of my lamp. And I love lamps. Um, I have quite a few extra lamps that I keep stored away in my basement. And I just think that they are a beautiful accent piece to add in to your decorating. I just added the floral arrangement that I was working on in the beginning of my video. And I think that the yellow for Scythia are a perfect pop of color for spring. The yellow is also a perfect color to add in with Tuscan decorating. I just added this black mantle clock and I've had this mantle clock for a long time and it was very inexpensive. I purchased it at Walmart, but I think it will look beautiful on my table. I just added this beautiful rustic rooster that was a gift to me from my daughter last year for Mother's Day. I think I need to add some texture at the bottom of my rooster. So I'm going to use a greenery pick and I believe I purchased this either at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure now which one this was purchased at, but this is a really pretty greenery and it almost reminds me of a fern. 
I think that looks really nice with that extra pop of color and the texture adds more visual interest. I just added a dish of beautiful colored grapes and I know there are a few of my viewers who also have a fondness for decorating with grapes and this dish that the grapes are inside is antique it is very old it belonged to my grandfather and my mom gave this dish to me a very long time ago and I love decorating with it. I actually have two of them, but this is the larger candy dish. For the next side of my table, I'm going to start by adding these two decorative book boxes and book boxes are perfect to use as risers and you can also use real books which I will do that from time to time in my decorating but I didn't have any real books that were the right size that I wanted to use for today so I'm just using two of my book boxes that I purchased at Goodwill. Next, I'll be adding this lantern, and this lantern I also purchased at Goodwill a couple years ago, and it reminded me of a birdcage whenever I bought it, and so a lot of times whenever I'm decorating, I actually do use it as a birdcage, and that's how I'll be decorating with it today. I went ahead and added some Spanish moss and a bird nest with a few eggs to the inside of my lantern. I thought about adding a little bird to my lantern or close by, but I just didn't feel that it was going to look quite right. It wasn't the look I was going for. So for now, I decided to not add a cute little bird. I want my table to have symmetry, so because I added greenery on the left side, I'm also going to add greenery to the right side, but I'm going to place the greenery at a little bit of a different angle, and I'm going to have it placed hanging over, kind of flowing over the table, and I think that that will add more visual interest when you first see the table when you're looking straight at it. I think the greenery hanging over the side of my table is so pleasing to the eye. Now I'll be adding this beautiful finial and this finial has the mustard yellow, it has the green, it has the brown and I think this is going to complement my table beautifully and I also purchased this at Goodwill a couple of years ago. And here's how my finial looks. Thanks for watching. See you next time.